Hello everybody and welcome back to Witchwood where we are currently trying to find goats so we can make them plug up um, these geezers, but geezers, I don't know where, oh yeah there's one, okay. I was just about to say I don't know where there's another goat but there's one here. Is that too far or are you going to come? Cool. does feel like like really bad animal cruelty goats are such lovely sweet creatures as well they're really, they can be really cute and i feel like i'm being rather mean to them right now mm. Is there another goat anywhere like i see two not three We want like miles away. Okay, you're not too far away, that's cool. So I now have the, the tools to for, forevermore now I can lure goats around. That is too far apparently. Here? That would be way too far, sorry. We are nearly there. Just got to put the other side of here and hopefully you will. Okay, I'm going to try the other way then. There we go. All done. With the plump bodies of brain goats clogging up the small gazers, the earth beneath your feet begins to grumble. They're alive as well. <laughs> it's like they're being scalded to death by these... Get on. Oh, I can't think about it, okay? The mountain goats' eyes go wide as the pressure builds beneath them. With no other outlet, the steam rushes towards the only opening left. With a deafening boom, the long dormant gazer erupts, sending a great spear of water high into the air. As the deluge reaches its apex, ice crystals begin to form in the mist, twinkling as they hang in the air. Bit by bit, they begin to build on each other, forming larger and larger crystals until it forms a great column of ice rising all the way up towards the mountain peak. Ha! I can't believe it worked! Last one to the top is a spotted fawn. To the peak! There we go! But I lost my goat lure thing. I've got spare, spare things now. I'm glad I didn't go and get all the cobblestones and make three of them. That would have been terrible. You stand at the mountain's peak, buffeted by wind and snow. Now then, where's this crystal cave you spoke of? I'm not sure. I think it should be just up ahead. But in this blizzard, I can hardly see my own nose. The buck jumps behind you, pointing in the frigid fog. Wait, what was that? You squint into the galing winds, unable to see anything but white. Probably just another mountain goat. I wouldn't be so sure. When I was little, my brother told me stories of the snowkin who lived up here. He said if I ever went up the mountain, the snowkin would blow a great blizzard down on me. He said they'd turn me around and give me false directions until I got lost and froze solid. Yeah, your brother probably has a reason for you not for not wanting you to come up here. <laughs> Sounds to me like these snowkin might be some kind of guardian spirits. And if they're aiming to keep people away from something, then surely they'll know where that something is. I have a notion to find our way as they do, but it will take a considerable quantity of their essence. That sounds dangerous. I'll just say put then. I know better than to wander blind in a snowstorm. Okay, right, let's wander around. Snowkin. Are you Snowkin? Uh, or are these all the people that have wandered it up here before? That are now... Oh wow, you, yeah, you totally look like a... Melting pot. Okay. Chili peppers, cinder pot. Oh no! I don't have enough rodent lard for this. So I need three um, snowkin hearts. Three snowkin hearts are going to mean three dryad hearts. Uh, quite a few chili peppers, but they're quite easy to find. And then, uh, what was the other one? Um, 
Yeah, those red birds. So let's go and see. So I'll need three of them. Is it one feather per? One I didn't know. Oh, it's two. So we need six feathers. So let us work on that first. And I've got a feeling these cinder pots probably are not going to work for. They're quite simple to make, so they're probably going to. We probably are going to need three of them. The goats are all back. Yay! Right, so let's see if we can find a couple of little red birds. In fact, maybe if I put the snap traps down, they'll just come to me. But I'm not sure. In fact, I'm not even sure if they are snap traps. They might be snow traps for these guys. So I think I probably do need to find one and, and G over it to make sure I get the right thing. So here's a couple. No, it is snap traps. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I need wicker work. I'm going to need way more sticks than that. Mm. See how many feathers I get. It'll probably be one. So I'm going to need like six snap traps for this. This is going to need mean a lot of sticks. All right then. Best place for sticks is still the forest. But then I do wonder, like, whether I I will make one and I'll try it. I'll try it just in case there's another thing that I can use more than once, or I can use on several at once, or something along those lines. So yeah, let's go to the forest and pick up sticks. Never have too many sticks. Also, you can never have too many of those green things either. And more sticks, and more sticks, and more sticks, and more sticks, and more green things, and more sticks. Even more sticks and an impine nut, but we're still collected anyway, even though I've got like 40 of them probably. We are needing the sticks for wicker work, so it doesn't hurt to grab reeds on the way either. Any more sticks? Any more sticks? Any more sticks? I don't think where else I would find sticks. So how many snap traps can I make? Three bits of wicker work, which will probably mean like three snap traps. So I'm just going to make one. I probably need to reload this area anyway to get more sticks to spawn in it. So I think it wouldn't probably hurt me to go back and just um, and just make one of the cinder pot things and see. And come back here if I need more sticks. So basically back at the area where the fast travel is. Okay, so let's get back into the decay. And then just um, quickly going to see what else is needed for this thing. So we need a cinder box 
which requires rodent lard and fireflies. So I do need to go back anyway. And I'll just get enough sticks and stuff. So, so really, it mostly is things that I can find in the forest then. It's all about the forest. So let's go get some more fireflies and pick up any sticks I find on the way. And also, one of my snap traps will need to go to get in this rodent. Some rodent lard. I might have to cut I might have to use quite a few snap traps for this this whole thing if I need more than one. I'm gonna use one and then see how it's used because like you never know that until you actually use a thing. So you never really know whether it's a thing that will do times three or whether it's a thing that will do times one. It takes me a minute to check, whereas it'd take a bit longer to get all the ingredients together and to make all the snap traps, get all the feathers, and then realise that I'd gotten a load of stuff that I didn't need. Which I don't mind getting things I don't need if they're just things I can pick up as I'm on, on a little walk by. But I do mind a lot more if it's something that's a lot of effort. I don't need to get you, but you're you're annoying, so come here. <laughs> I'll never run out of changing the routes, so I just find them satisfying to chase after. Uh, right then. So I got me quite a few sticks, actually, there. That was quite good. I got me a rodent lard. So now I need to make myself a cinder box. To get me a dryad fruit. Hmm? Why am I thinking I need a dryad fruit? I don't need a dryad fruit. I just actually need the cinder box. Okay. Right, let's head back to the mountain then. I don't know why I thought I needed a dryad fruit for that. Maybe I just associate the, the dryad fruit with the cinder box. I'm not sure, but... I feel like we're getting really close with all of these things now. Made a lot of headway with this quest over the last episode or so. See, there are ways of getting sticks here, but it's just not as... Too spiny, I'll have to snare it. There's not many sticks coming out of these. There's not many sticks just on the floor either, so... I think, I think it's easier this way. Um, okay, so let's make one of these. Oh, I need another ah, I need another snap trap. Quick, 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 quick. I'll put that instead of the ghost lantern. I don't think I'm gonna need the ghost lantern anymore. Well, not right now anyway. Not while I'm at the mountain. Right, so there's one. So let me make the melting pot. We'll go and melt a snowman and we'll see if then we need another melting pot. We need one per snowman or whether we need just one for all three snowmen. Because that is a handy thing to know. I'm very glad that now I've opened that up, uh, the, the gazers do come back. Um, yeah. <laughs> okay, I melted him, but yeah, we are going to need all three in this instance. In this instance. So that means I'm going to need four more. Of these feathers, which means I need four more snap traps. Which means I need three more of these. That also means I'm going to need some more cinder boxes, which means I'm going to need some more rodent lard, which means more snap traps again. So, and I'm going to need more fireflies as well. So we definitely need to get back to the forest. So I think what I'll do is on the way back down, I'll catch all the birds I need. And 
and uh, and then we'll go to the forest and get fireflies and rodent lard. So it should only be two more rodent lard I need. I need like another six uh, snap traps. I don't think we're ever running out of peppers. Is that what the goats like live on? I'd be scared to be around a goat that lives on chili peppers, to be fair. See, there's me, like, berating the, the snowmen for turning people into... Well, snowmen. The snowkin for turning people into snowmen. And I did exactly the same to the trappers. They totally haven't come back yet. <laughs> oh, no snap traps. Okay. I need to make four of them. So one, two, three, four. Oh, one of them caught a rabbit. That sucks. I got like one feather out of all of those traps. They all caught rabbits. Oh no. Well, maybe we'll need rabbit foots for rabbits, rabbit foots, rabbit's feet for something else later. Right, that's enough for one more. How many feathers I got now? Three? Oh, I have four. Okay, cool. So. <laughs> oh, that was bad. Making. What are we making? What are we making? One of these. So, I have enough feathers to make two more. So, we just need to make two cinder pots, which we have just enough coals for. We need uh, another four fireflies. And we actually do have enough rodent lard. I must have got rodent lard from the rabbits. So actually, that was quite useful. To get the rabbits. But yeah, I do need to head down to the forest just to get some fireflies to quickly finish that up. So at least it wasn't a complete waste of my time getting the rabbits I actually ended up getting exactly the amount of rodent lard I needed so that was complete fluke but it was useful because I was gonna have to do that anyway and uh, we'll just have a nicely respawned thing of fireflies here I need like another four I think we've got about three here maybe four they do seem to respawn quite fast to be fair and a frog. And a fairy. Like, I am going to need fairy dust at some point. May as well have it to hand. Right, so that now means I can make two more cinder pots. Just. And that means I can make two more melting pots. And we need to just go find two more snowkin now. yeah I didn't want to go through all the rigmarole of making three of those pots if I didn't need to like if I had done that with the goat I mean I overdid it with the goats perches as well so although like I probably at some point will need a shiny lure for something so uh, you know, they're fairly commonly used like I eventually did need that doll even though I was carrying it around for ages eventually I needed it <laughs> 
Okay, so. We have killed one Snowkin. I need to melt two more of them. Snowkin number two has been melted. But where well, pray tell is the third Snowkin. I'm the Snowkin Slayer! Actually, you don't have to be that close to them, to be fair. That's like fourth one! Let's go to- Ah, there's like another one! I need to go back to the buck. Maybe we can make some, like, ultimate Snowkin Slayer out of the hearts. Oh no, I'm all lost. I'm all lost and there's scary snowkin everywhere. And I don't have any more melting pots. Quick, run, Sheila, run. Hello, I'm back. Look, see how the snow swirls in strange directions? Maybe the snowkin know the path. You pile the mystical snow at the bug's feet and shield it from the howling winds. The flakes drift in the air like icy glitter. Oh, come on then, I'm getting chilly. You prod the snowdrift with a muttered invocation. Despite the chaotic storm, the snow crystals swirl into an icy ribbon and slowly trace a line up to the mountain peak. There it goes, that must be the way to the crystal cave. He takes off after the trail like a shot. You hike up your skirt and do your best to keep up in the dense snow. It is time, shall we? His face falls as you arrive at another sheer cliff. I don't understand, the snow stops here, but there isn't anything more than rocks. Did the snowkin mislead us? Are we lost? I don't want to freeze solid. This is no dead end, look. You gesture to the cliff where the eddies of swirling snow quickly gather. Within moments, the entire wall of rock is buried under fresh white powder. You reach out a clawed finger and touch the pure snow. It melts away to reveal a glittering open opening Sorry, in the snow. Stone. <laughs> the crystal cave, you did it. Let's go in before we freeze to death. I'm certain the crystal flower must be inside. I doubt it'll let us have it that easily, but we'll see. Oh dear, look at all the flowers. I didn't think there'd be so many. I'm going to pick a whole bouquet. You stop the impetuous youth with a quick tug and mutter beneath your breath. Hold on. The prophecy mentioned the one true crystal flower. These other flowers must be a deception meant to trap foolhardy would-be kings. Prophecy? What are you talking about? Uh, I only mean to say we should find the best single flower for your brother's coronation. Hmm, good point. Quality over quantity. Aha, I think I see just the right one over there. Is it this one? Oh, sorry, it's this one. It's perfect. Just look at the refraction of the petals and the frosting on the leaves. Oh, but I seem to have forgotten my pruning shears back at the castle. Would you do the honours? I don't want to damage it. You snip the brittle stem of the flower, careful not to touch it directly. Prophecies can be nasty stuff to stick your fingers in. The buck holds the flower aloft, inhaling the blossom's magical aura. Wow, it smells just like powdered snow on fresh pine trees. The moment is interrupted by the shrill cries of aristocrats clamouring against each other. I found them! Over here, my lord! In a rush of colourful fabrics and fancy hats, you find yourself surrounded by nobles. The stag steps out from their midst, looking irate. After everything I've done for you, this is how you repay me, brother. The young prince blinks in confusion. What are you doing here? Have I offended you somehow? Usurper, you thought you could slip off when I wasn't looking and steal the crown from me? You think I don't know about the prophecy of the crystal flower? Why does everyone keep talking about a prophecy? I picked this flower as a gift for you, brother. Fool! Only the king can choose the true crystal flower, and you are not the king. The stag reaches down at his feet and plucks the closest flower. See, only I can. Oh dear. The stag never finishes his sentence, his defiant pose forever imprisoned inside solid ice. Oh, my brother, what have you done? You give the mystified buck a reassuring pat on the back as the nobles gather closer. The true king has been revealed indeed. King? You mean me? You're the prince after all, and I suppose the prophecy was pretty clear. Magic flowers are seldom wrong about this sort of thing. <laughs> and if you do, t sorry, if you tend your kingdom with the same care you tend your garden, you'll do just fine. The ring of nobles crowd around the buck. 
You know, I never cared much for that stag myself. I think a new ruler will shake things up a bit. Ugh, oh, nobles, so fickle. You excuse yourself as they bow and praise the confused lad. <laughs> Long live the king! Passing the frozen stag, your eye catching us, catches on something sticking out of the permafrost. You reach down and pick out a shard of translucent ice, careful not to cut yourself on the sharp edges. Despite the warmth of your palm, it doesn't melt. The soul of the stag. There we are, we're done with the stag! Oh, I have to collect it. Where is it? Ah. Okay, done. Quest completed the stag. So, yes. Um, this is probably a really good time, right? A really, really good time to use one of these dudes. Because <laughs> we're miles away. Time to go home. Right, so what quest shall we focus on next? We've got the hog, the wolf, and the hawk. I think we're going to carry on with the hawk's quest, which means going back to the village. Let me go to the bank. I'm grabbing that uh, that note in the vault. So I should have just the potion I need. <laughs> I love these guys. They're so cute. <laughs> Having a little sheep party. <laughs> okay, to the bank. Let us use our potion of glamour on the guard. Okay, while the guard is busy picking his fingernails, you cough the fruity tasting elixir. Its masking effects tickle the tips of your toes with a tingling sensation. While you don't feel any different on the inside, you know our, your outward appearance has changed when the guard glances up at you. Oh, hey Leonard. Is it time for my shift change already? Ah uh, yes, I'm here to relieve you. Uh, you better go get some shut eye while you still can. You don't gotta tell me twice, I feel like I've been on my feet all day long. Don't worry, I'll keep this vault nice and secure. You can count on me. <laughs> yeah, sure. Just get your back straight. The hawk's in a foul mood today. F-O-W-L. <laughs> For some reason. Not that a hawk is a foul, but you know, it's a bird joke, okay. The guard stretches his shoulders and walks away, leaving you all alone with the bank vault. <clears throat> Perfect. Go steal some stuff. You find the hawk's treasure map framed with pride. It's little more than a tattered corner of a larger hole. No wonder the hawk didn't get very far. This is barely a scrap. Squinting at the half-torn line work, you can make out the cartographer's description of giant dragon bones with a red X marking the spot. Hmm, that carcass looks awfully familiar. I wonder if it's the same as that one rotting out in the swamp. I guess the hawk never had much reason to go searching there. Not many real estate opportunities. <laughs> Investment opportunities. Okay. Let's go to the swamp. I'm very much uh, in a mood just to do things one at a time today. You know, sometimes I'm in a mood to just go and do everything all at once. And and just, like, have loads of quests all lined up. Today, I'm in a mood just to go and do things one at a time. So, let's go to the swamp. <clears throat> oh man, I can't find the fast travel again. Terrible at finding it. It's, it's always far further left than I think. Got that wolf quest still to do. I'm looking forward to the wolf quest in Little Red Riding Hood. It's going to be a cool one. So I'll probably do the hog one and then I'll leave the wolf one to last. I think that'd be really cool. Right, to the swamp, which is this one. To the swamp we go. Oh, hiccups, not good. 
So, oh yeah, Seeker Vines. I need them. I am so low on Seeker Vines. <clears throat> it's going to smack me if I'm not quick. Oh no, I put out shiny lures. No, I need them back. Oh, that's annoying. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, that was so stupid. Ah. Oof, my head. What happened out there? I should be more careful. If all of your hearts are depleted, you'll walk back home sa to safety. However, some of your ingredient items have been dropped. You can return to pick them back up. If you find yourself low on hearts, be sure to craft the mending pulses. Yeah, that was me being dumb because I, what I was trying to do was to get around those little dudes. Uh, I'll just go straight back to the swamp and pick my stuff up. It's right by the thing anyway. Um, I was trying to get those little dudes and... I put down this... The, I thought I was cheering and I was putting down my bind, my um, shiny lures and then I wanted to get them back and then I just wasn't paying attention to my health basically so that was rather irritating right so I think I probably at this point need to make a smoke pellet if I can which I can which is probably what I should have done to start with I'm just gonna like grab them We just smoke them and chop them up into pieces. Revenge! I just wanted some thistles, that was all. But now if I need like another sewing kit or something, I've got plenty of needle noses, so that's quite good. Right, so we were looking for, before that rather embarrassing incident. I expect the hawk's quest will take us past the ogre. We were looking for some kind of gigantic, um, like... Oh, it's like right the way over the other side. Okay. Well, we'll just walk around picking up bits and pieces, I guess, on the way. Seeker vine, always useful. Mushrooms. Um, where's my trowel gone? Clay. Frogs. I'm not going to run after frogs too much, though. Because <clears throat> so I've picked up a lot of frogs in the past. Excuse my, like, super froggy throat. It's probably all these frogs in the game making it, like, it's their influence on me. They're frogging up my throat. Oh, ah, nearly got got again. Yeah, because I didn't really notice a, a giant skeleton before, but, you know. Or was it up there? Is it, is it past the drake? Let's check. Oh, yeah, up here. X marks the spot. I'll have to get rid of these old bones. All right, then. So, acidic unguent. We need some more of that, then. All right, then. So, I have plenty of algae, but I do not have the things for weird water and potion of blight. But actually, I do have the stuff for weird water. Probably don't have the stuff for a potion of blight right now. But I apparently do. Okay. Must have got a spare eye last time I made one. Well, that's all right. Dissolve. I have dissolved the bones. The beast rock-like remains dissolve into a disgusting white goo, leaving behind a conspicuous hidey hole. You reach your hand into the hole and pull out a single copper coin encrusted with grime. After scraping away the muck on the coin, you can barely make out a motto etched into the metal surface. To summon the alchemist to thee, at the Fey Ring, you must pay the required fee. Fey Ring? I wonder if it's referring to that overgrown mushroom patch in the forest. Oh yeah, the one with all the frogs. Yeah. Alright then, back we go. Little treasure hunt. 
Little treasure hunt. Like a good treasure hunt. The alchem alchemical embalming salts there as well. So yeah, I'll just head back here and we're gonna go straight to the forest. I hope I don't have to go to every single area on this treasure hunt. Sticks are super useful, so let's grab some sticks. Okay, so here we are. Now, what is it this fairy circle wants? Well, actually, I'm thinking... A floral wreath. Okay, well, I've been picking up bits of, like, petals and fairies for ages, so I'm hoping I've got the stuff for it. Okay, me, I've got to make one of them stupid Tootsie Rolls. Okay, well, I've got a spare dough somehow. Uh, so let's see if I can make a glitter bomb. If I had a pot, I could. Hey, okay, one Tootsie Roll. One wicker work. One floral wreath. Oh, hello. Wow. What's this? That worthless coin said this was some in the rumpling, not some flowery deer. You take a closer look at the discarded floral branch. Antler? Branchler? One of the growing buds looks larger than the rest and it twitches when you poke it. Hello there, looks like this sprout needs some fresh fairy water. There's no water at this fairy circle, but surely there are others about. I'd better go plant this thirsty fellow and see what happens. Okay, there's another fairy circle across the other side of the map. I know this because I have been there and um, stolen all the fairies and fireflies from there. <laughs> dumpty dumpty dum. Yeah, that's that's the <laughs> that's the humming tune that uh, that I was making when I was doing all of those things. And so. Oh, the fairy lake in the fields. Oh. Oh, well, there's me not reading the, the quest. <laughs> Not reading the brief there. <laughs> Although, actually, the fields are right here, so... Might as well just walk there at this point. There's, like, a fairy lake here. Like, how have I missed that? My usual she lab. Oh, right, okay. I don't actually think I've been down there before. That's why I've never noticed it before. Which makes me feel a little bit better about being totally unobservant. <laughs> Gonna get past these stupid pumpkin jacks without them. Usually though, the enemies in this are quite good because you, you tend to be able to just run straight past them, which is quite nice. All right, so apparently there's some like sneaky field around here, some sneaky fairy fairy ring or something. Ah, awesome. So if I pop down the antler here, see this is, it is, it's taking me around all of the areas, isn't it? Oh, I don't have the branch anymore. I know I picked it up. Just click on it, I guess. This looks like just the place. Branch antler. You stick the budding branchler into the fertile soil of the fairy circle. The suspicious flower bud wiggles with glee, drinking up the magical pond water. After a few minutes, nothing else happens. Come on, come on, I don't have time to watch flowers grow. Maybe I can speed things along a bit. A little pick-me-up should be all that's needed here. Growth potion. Okay. Probably be quicker to leave it to grow. Growth potion. <laughs> Growth potion. No, actually, because I have all the stuff for it. 
so some of that uh, some of that magical paste that I made extra for the 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 goat stands that I didn't need coming in handy there. Yeah. Well, I made the growth potion. Hang on. A little pick me up should be all that's needed here. There we are. Growth potion. You drip the invigorating fertilizer on the stumpy branch and it shakes with energy. The ground trembles as the roots rip out around your feet. Ah, oh, there's a rumpling. <laughs> Hello. Hello, rumpling. Rumple dumple. You find yourself looking up at an odd little house that has grown out of the flower bird. An even odder little man sits on the porch, glaring at you. Oh, well, you just leave me be. I don't know how you managed to track me down, but please just go away. Hold on now. You've led me on quite the merry goose chase. You are the rumpling, are you not? He sighs and cleans the smudge off his spectacles. Congratulations, you caught me. The story is true, is true then. I've caught you, and now you must grant me my weight in gold. Curse that stupid legend. Look. Sorry you came all this way, but I don't do that stuff no more. I'm retired. These days, I'm more into woodworking. Wouldn't you rather have a cute little birdhouse instead? I know a magical contract when I hear one. I found you fair and square, so cough up the gold, shorty. Ha, too bad. I threw my alchemist stone into a bottomless lake. Without that stone to make gold, I'm as poor as a pauper. Why would you do that? Why do you think? Because villains like you kept on trying to shake me down for money. All that rotten stone ever did was bring me misery. Well, I'm not leaving empty-handed. You created the alchemist stone in the first place. You must know how to make another. He blinks at you with his magnified eyes. You want an alchemist stone of your own? Ha ha ha. Well, okay, it's your funeral, lady. I've still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Just bring me these ingredients to make a new alchemist stone. Wow. <laughs> this is quite the... This is going to be quite the quest. Isn't it? We've got to get the, go the golden egg off that goose. Right, okay. So I know where to get the egg, obviously. Alchemical alloy... I need silver fox fur, coins which I have, a puzzle box. I can make the puzzle box. So we need to find some silver fox fur. We need to get the golden goose egg. What was the other thing I needed? Um, crystal newt spines. Oh, that shouldn't be too awful. That is just, I believe that those guys just need the snow traps. Um, I should have enough for three of them as well. I might run out if I need an extra for a fox though. I'll go and I'll go up to the mountain. I'll trap them. And I'll see, I'll see if I can find a silver fox and what I need for it. I've got to go to the village anyway to pick up the golden goose egg. I had a feeling I'd need it eventually. Village or market or wherever it happens to be. I think it might be the market actually. Ah, I can't find the way out. I always try and do it without, like, without using the map, and it always fails. Because I suck at directions. Wasn't too far away. Right, to the mountain then. And let's see what we can find over there. Oh no, it's nearly the end of the episode. Right, I need to put the puzzle box away. And I'm going to need to go make some of these uh, these traps. Okay, so crystal newts. You find them generally behind these. And then you need to put down the snow snare. Snow s put down the snow snare. And then you get their spines. And we'll have to see how many spines we get from each one. Looks like we got two there, so that's awesome. I might not need too many snares then, which is cool. I don't know where to find a silver fox, though. Got rabbits.
Me you. Right, so that's all of my newt spines. Wonderful. Oh, I bet the silver foxes are those little dogs. It seems to be, like, wolves and dogs and foxes. They all just have the same, like... There you are. You're a silver fox. You need a frozen treat. Okay, how do we make you a frozen treat? That is the second to last thing in this uh, spells thing. Uh, we need to get you a snowflake... And a soporific morsel, right? Can we do a soporific morsel? Yes. I'm so glad I got all that water. Alright, so now we need to go and find a snowflake. So actually one of those guys would be very useful. I'm going to chase you around a little bit so that I can put you in a bit of a safer place. Snow snare for those guys. Unfortunately... Snow snow went into my inventory there. I went into hearth seed for a little while, I don't think. Put that down. Okay, you. Oh, no, no. Come back. Come back. Come back. Okay. I'm going to make that into a frozen treat. Throw that at the silver fox. Oh no, his friend's there. That sucks. Big snip. Run away. <laughs> okay. So hopefully I should now be able to make that alloy. Yes. Done. Right, so let's head over to the market. It does actually say the market when I was like, is it the village or is it the market? It said, if you just read the quest. Um, so we'll go to the market and we're going to go and check out what we need to do to get the golden goose. Because I've been wanting to know about this for a while, actually. Need to get the goose to get out of the way. So I did try to sneak past. Wasn't really expecting it to work and surprise, surprise, it didn't. So there's a chicken there. But it's mostly the goose that I need to get out of the way of. Oh, it's just a glitter bomb. Okay. My last coal. I need to... Any fires I go past, I need to dig them up. Did I not make the glitter bomb? No, I didn't. I just made the pot. Right. How do I get round here to the goose then? Golden egg achieved! Right, back we go. Right, let's go back to the rumpling before we end the episode. It is time to end the episode, but I want to I want to get this alchemical stone made. Mr. Rumpling. I'm back. I do love how like in this th this end third of the game everything's getting reused. It's really cool. I've still got the distilling equipment in my workshop. Bring me these ingredients. Okay. The rumpling's eyes light up at the sight of the alloy and he rubs his fingers together in anticipation. The rumpling looks away from the newt spine, gesturing vaguely at the ground beside him. You lay it nearby. You pass the golden egg into the hands of the rumpling, who receives it tentatively, as if it could hatch at any moment. Collecting all the components into his arms, the, tr the rumpling disappears into his little tree home. You can't tell exactly what he's doing inside, but the sounds and smells emanating from the chimney make you think it's better left unknown. 
He emerges sometime later with singed eyebrows and foggy glasses. Eureka, I've done it. He holds out a glowing emerald with a pair of iron tongs. Here, hee hee, go ahead, it's yours. The rumpling can barely contain his snickering. He just made an emerald. Don't trust him. He's still got the alchemical stone. You appraise the glittering jewel that's abnormally heavy in your hands. Very pretty. The little man's giggling abruptly stops and his face falters with disbelief. Oh, hmm. What's the matter? You seem disappointed. I, uh, it's nothing. This is just not what I was expecting is all. Oh, it probably had some magic on it or something. He strokes his beard thoughtfully. I guess I should have told you earlier, but there's a slight uh, curse to the stone. It can only be touched by one whose heart is free of avarice. How convenient of you to leave that part out. Since you went to all the trouble of tracking me down, I assumed you were in it for the gold. Oh my, no. I don't care much for the wretched stuff. This gold is meant for someone else. Well, I gave you what you asked for. Our deal is done. Now leave me in peace. All right, all right. No need to be rude. I've got to bring this stone back to the millers. Okay, well, the millers are just up here. Should we just quickly bring it back to... Oh, I've, I've got time. If I'm dead quick. I've got a feeling we're really close to getting the hawk finished, so I'm kind of like, might just extend the episode a touch. We had a quite short one last time because I was running out of uh, space, so this will make up for it, right? Although it was still like 45 minutes long. So we, we're going back to the millers. I hope that's... Yeah, return to the mill. Okay. You're back. The hawk will return with his goons any minute now. Don't worry. I've got a solution to your monetary problems right here. You hold up the alchemist stone proudly. Oh, that's a very fine jewel. But I don't think it will be nearly enough to satisfy the hawk. Just stand back and watch. All this green is just waiting to be spun into gold. Green is it's straw into gold, not green into gold. Good grief. Transmute. You place the stone into a barrel of grain and it melts through the kernels like butter. The barrel bursts under the weight of glittering golden coins spilling out onto the floor. Oh, it's a miracle! Okay, and there's some more grain. You touch the alchemist stone to a bushel of straw and it instantly transforms into a mound of sparkling riches. Amazing, I can't believe my eyes. This is such a rumpelstiltskin thing. You roll the alchemist stone into a bag of flour and mountains of golden dust rip through the canvas sack. How is this possible? I've never seen this much gold in my life. Before the millers can so much as count a single coin, the door crashes open. The hawk strides into the mill, flanked by a pair of guards cracking their knuckles. So I imagine, just a thought, we'll probably have to give, he'll probably, you know, we'll be like, we can turn stuff into gold. Do you want this stone? I found the Rumpelstiltskin stone, or the Rumpelstone. And, and he's going to be like, yep. And then the curse will kick in. And then we will have the soul of the hawk. I think that's what's going to happen. But we will see. Time's up. Where's my money? Yeah, pay up, squirts. Master hawk, not to worry. We've got your payment right here. His eyes open wide at the sight of all the piles of gold strewn about the mill. What? But how? Never you mind how. This should be more than enough to cover the cost of the miller's debts and the deed to the property. I don't understand. Unless. No, it can't be. He points at a hook. Sorry. He points a hook talent at you accusingly. You. You're the rumpling. There's no other explanation. Guards, seize her. The two goons leap forward and grab you roughly by the arms. You're making a terrible mistake. Just take your money and leave these good people in peace. Don't play smart with me, imp. I know how the legend goes. I've caught you. Now you must give me my weight in gold. Haha, -ha, I'm rich. I'll lock you up and squeeze you for every penny you've got. I'll be the wealthiest hawk in the entire kingdom. No, the entire world. Now, pay out my first instalment, rumbling. He outstretches his hand towards you greedily. As you wish. <laughs> no sooner does the cold stone touch the hawk's skin than a brilliant flash of yellow light engulfs the mill. When the light fades, the hawk stands before you, transmuted into a solid gold statue. What magic is this? Horrified, the two soldiers beat a hasty retreat through the door. What happened? Is he okay? You tuck the stone safely back into your satchel and give the hawk a statue. Sorry, the hawk statue a pat. I think this should set you up nicely. Just don't go spending it all in one place. Thank you. How could we ever make this up to you? Live a rich and full life. That ought to be enough for anyone. You notice a stray feather glinting on the floor. You pluck the golden feather and run your fingers along the gleaming barbules. It makes a sound like coins falling into a wishing well. The soul of the hawk. This is my payment. The hawk has been completed. 
And uh, you know what happens at the end of every of everyone? I'm allowed to then use a half seed. That's my that's my deal. Should be enough to to do the rest of them. So let's return to the withering. No, it's not the withering, is it? It's the the I can't remember what it's called. I have to go back home to find out what it's called. Into the darkness. No, I know it has a name. Oh well, never mind. Uh, <laughs> the festering. I probably uh, it probably gives it, it, each one gives it a different name actually it but it's it's the void so anyway i hope you enjoyed the episode if you did then please do leave me a like below if you'd like to see the hog and the wolf be finished so next episode we'll do the hog and then the episode after we'll do the wolf unless i'm really close to the end of the hog's quest and the wolf's quest then we can get them done in one episode we'll have to see so I hope you enjoyed. If you did, then please leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.